Hello all, and welcome back to the Ryan the Mood Show, and uh, today we're going to be talking about more of Lebanon. So, just a quick recap of what we discussed last time. We talked about how the leaders of Lebanon couldn't come to an agreement on what they should do as the tensions between Israel and Hezbollah were rising. Um, now, we actually, we're actually going to shift gears like quite a bit. Um, a lot has moved on, and um, let's get right into that. Okay, so as of October 17th, uh, the government of Lebanon and Al Hariri, the prime minister of Lebanon, they actually announced that they would like to charge and tax the community of Lebanon for this free app nationwide called um, WhatsApp. They would like to charge them $6 a month, month which is 20 cents per day. Uh, WhatsApp is what many people throughout all of the Middle East use. It's easier for them to communicate with all their family and friends. Uh, it's how we use iMessages here. Um, the anger throughout the people of Lebanon um, caused a flood of protests throughout all the streets of Lebanon. The protests were actually not just because of WhatsApp. That's really what triggered the people to get out there and uh, fight for what they believe in. It actually goes far more beyond that. Um, they are protesting for their um, for the corruption of the government. Uh, Lebanon actually has one of the most corrupt governments in the world. Um, the people in Lebanon do not have access to hot water or electricity 24-7. So, shortly after the government announced that they would like to tax the community of Lebanon, uh, $6 a month for the free app WhatsApp, um, they actually decided to uh, back down and um, take that all away. That was not enough to satisfy, though, the majority of the Lebanese. People of Lebanon are still, until now, are storming the streets day and night protesting for um, what they, for their basic human rights. Um, the people of Lebanon demand that the, that the government of Lebanon must step down and they would be, they want to re-elect the government as they are not voted based on their sect, it's actually more of their religious beliefs. They want a government that, uh, that the people think is best for the country. Also, schools, banks, roads have all been shut down um, for several days due to these protests and um, they're still shut down until now. Today we're actually fortunate enough to talk uh, to someone who's actually living in Lebanon right now. Uh, her name is Noor. Uh, Noor, just a little background information. Noor is a, a sophomore uh, in college at the college AUB, which is located in Lebanon, and it stands for the American University of Beirut. Um, Noor is in agreement for what the community is protesting for. She has been one of the protesters out there. Uh, she actually does. She's actually not going to school right now because. Like I said before, all the schools are shut down. So, uh, Noor, my first question is, um, what is it that's really going on right now in Lebanon? As we hear a lot about the WhatsApp and the tax. Um, I know there's a lot going on with the WhatsApp and how it triggered a lot of people. Uh, are a bunch of people just triggered about the WhatsApp or are they more um, angry about the corruption of the government and how they want it to get fixed? Hey Ryan, thank you for your question. So unlike what most uh, media outlets have tried to put out there, the Lebanese are not protesting simply due to a WhatsApp tax. It goes way beyond that. We have one of the most corrupt governments in the world. They have stolen over $2 billion from the people and uh, sent it out to banks around the world to hide this evidence, what they've been caught. Uh, we do not have access to electricity 24-7. We do not have access to hot water 24-7. Unless you belong to a high socioeconomic class, you cannot access proper health care. So a lot of people uh, that belong to a lower socioeconomic uh, status or class have died at the doorsteps of the hospital, which is unfortunate given the incredibly high number of taxes that we pay. Uh, what else? Um, the public schools are not at the level of private schools, so unless you have money, you cannot send your kids to a proper school, which again is extremely unfortunate. Um, our politicians are elected based on their sect, based on their religious belief, not based on merit, not based on who wants the best for this country, not based on who's the most qualified, and this is what it has led us to. So this is why we're protesting. We're, we're, protest we're protesting for basic human rights. We want to live properly. We want, we're paying money. We want to see results. So that's the idea, not simply a WhatsApp tax. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, so actually, I'd just like to point out that this is one of the first times in decades in Lebanon that people uh, varying from every religion and sect have united together to demonstrate um, against the ruling of their secretarian government. 
Uh, now, furthermore, newer, I would like to ask you, are these protests um, really safe or um, are they violent? Uh, can you give us a little bit more detail about that? Because I feel like there's a lot of confusion as we hear some of it is uh, safe and a lot of people say there's a lot of violence going on. So uh, what have you seen? So uh, have the protests been safe? Generally, yes. My sister and I, my friends and I, my mom and I have been going down every single day and thankfully we haven't seen anything out of the ordinary. Uh, but there are always a select few who want to go down and uh, ruin what we're trying to do, which is abolish sectarianism. Uh, some of these people benefit from this division of sects. They make money out of it. So they want us, they want to put a stop to our cause and to our protests. So sometimes they try to to use violence as a way to stop these uh, protests, but uh, people usually res respond by shouting, peace, 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 we're doing this peacefully. They throw flowers at them, for example. Uh, so anyone who has tried to stir up some trouble has been stopped. Um, for once, uh, the whole country is united against uh, our dictators against our political religious dictators okay well thank you Noor for um, helping us understand from a uh, first-person point of view and someone who's actually living there right now and has been there and uh, helping us understand more about what's going on but anyways uh, as we move on I would also like to talk about like what's going on right now in Lebanon so recently people have formed a human chain all around the um, all around the country and on October 28th. And then as of October 29th, in the afternoon, Prime Minister Saad Hariri announced that he will be stepping down from uh, the Prime Minister position as the government is now dissolved. So as you can tell, this is huge information and the situation is moving very fast as the people of Lebanon are anxious and nervous of what is to come. So just a quick brief recap of what we just talked about. Basically, on October 17th, the government of Lebanon and Saad al-Hariri, the prime minister of Lebanon, announced that they would like to tax their community uh, $6 a month for a free app called WhatsApp. The community did not like this at all as their anger resulted in protesting. Uh, shortly after they actually announced their decision, they um, actually backed down from that and said they weren't going to do that anymore. However, this didn't, um, uh, this wasn't good enough for the community of Lebanon um, as they are demanding a step down from the Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri and then as of October 29th in the afternoon uh, Saad al-Hariri actually said that he will be stepping down from his position as the Prime Minister um, because he thought it was best for the country and he thinks that um, the country is more important than his position. Thank you for being here with me today to discuss the political instability in Lebanon. Um, as I said before, the situation is moving very fast, so we will be having a lot of more brief um, information of what's happening in the next few weeks.